Good morning children. Welcome back. So today we are going to learn about lists. Okay. So in the previous concept we have discussed a few more topics right. So today we will be learning more. Okay. So in the previous class what we have discussed we have discussed about the alignment. How many alignments are there? Four. What are they? Left, right, center and then justified. Right children? So now we are going to learn about lists. So let us start. First, so there are basically two types of lists. Bullets and numbering. So see, why are these lists used? These lists are used to arrange the uh, points or items that are present in a easier way so that each and everyone can read and follow easily. Okay. So that what happens by using this list? The data, whatever data is there, it will be presented in an organized way. Organized means in a clear and a order. Okay, children. So, see. Next. So, see here. How we can uh, open a list in the Word or Open Office Impress? Okay. So, in Open Office Impress, in order to insert a bullet list, we should go to Format Menu and then you should select Bullets and Numbering option. Okay. In Open Office Impress, first of all, we should go to Format Menu and then you should select Bullets and Numbering option that is present in the drop down list. Okay, children. So, see, they have a circle with the symbol so that we can easily identify the bullets and numbering list icon. Okay, children. Next. So, what are the different types of lists? First one is a bullet list. Next one is numbered list. And then the outline numbered or nested list. Bullet list means we will be getting a small dot. Here itself it is clear. See children. I have given all the points in a no, one by one. No? See. Beside that there is a small dot. These particular dots are called as bullets. Okay. These particular points are now used in a bullet list only. Okay children. Now numbered list means. So let us know each of them in detail. See. Bullet list. Bullet list means as we already discussed, it contains a bullet. That means as we have uh, discussed that there is a small dot in before the list item. Okay. If it is a bullet list, we won't have any sequence. That means there is no such rule that after this point only we should write this point. Okay. So see here what I have written first. First I have written bullet list contains a bullet. That refers to the symbols that bulleted can be placed before the list items. There is no rule like that to write first this point and then I should write it has no sequence or order. First I can write it has no sequence and then after I can write bullet list. It's my wish. First which point I want to write I can write. If it is a bullet list. Okay. If it is a number list I cannot write like that. Clear children? Next. So see here they have clearly showed you the bullet icon in the output. See before chocolates there is a small dot which is a, a symbol called as bullet. Okay. See chocolates, milkshake, cheese, bread. These all are given in a bullet list. I can follow any order. First I can write bread. After that I can write cheese. After that I can write chocolates. Whatever I want I can write. Okay. Next. Number list. Number list means what? As we'll be having numbers means 1, 2, 3 and all. So then what I should do? I should follow a sequence. That means after 1 only I should write 2. Uh, after 2 only I should write 3. We should not write after 1 we cannot write 3. After 2 I cannot write 1. Right? So in this number list we'll be having a proper sequence. In bullet list. 
we won't have any sequence clear children sequence means order clear number list means we'll be getting 1 2 3 bullet list means we'll be getting small dots before the points as if uh, you know, it is shown in this particular slide next so see number list means they have clearly given number 1 chocolate number 2 milkshake number 3 cheese number 4 bread and they also pointed out the numbering icon okay children i hope you all understood today's class children if you are having any queries you can contact me okay thank you